So today is one of my favorite days of the year and it is the day for the Elkhorn Flea Market. So every time I come to the Elkhorn Flea Market, I definitely find some great items. Last time I had an entire cart full, this time I brought a new cart and I'm actually by myself. So I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I might stay here a little bit longer than I normally do just because it's so easy to get sidetracked and lost down all of these aisles of amazing booths. And I'm really excited to be shopping today for my entryway, which if you haven't watched the video of how we redid our stairs, go ahead and watch that so you can see kind of how we just started to refresh the entire space. But I'm excited to decorate it with some amazing videos vintage pieces and I have a few other projects around our house that I'm going to be shopping for today as well. So come with me to the Elkhorn Flea Market and see what we can find today. I hope you enjoy it. at this flea market I always stop at this man's booth he has great mid-century pieces consistently and today was no different I did pick up this pottery piece and along with one that's a similar size like a little bit wider with a deep rust color I won't be showing these again in the haul later in this video because there were just so many items to go through. We would have been here for about an hour and a half, but you will see a few of my favorites that I snagged from this vendor and I was able to negotiate a little bit of a bundle deal and I was really thankful for that because his pieces are always priced on the higher end, um, but I think the ones that I got this time were definitely worth paying up for and I know you're going to love them too. I want to say before I eat it over here. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. So I have only been here, I think, about two hours. I've made it down one section of this enormous place, and I've already had to come back to the car to drop everything off and empty my cart because there was no way I was fitting anything else in there.
now here we go for round two. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that I. I thought I was done for the day. I was just going through this last row, last row, I didn't even make it through three quarters of this place before I ran out of cash and space in my cart, but I just struck gold on this school bus. That is a wrap for the Elkhorn Flea Market. I cannot wait to show you everything that I scored here today. This is one of the best trips I've ever had here in terms of hauls. I it was just a lucky day, I guess. And like I said, I didn't even go through three quarters of this flea market and I was still here for hours. And I mean, I've literally never been so excited after <laughs> leaving a flea market, if you can't tell. As a mom of three, I don't get out much by myself. And to have this time just to really get into finding all of these things and digging through these boxes and seeing that school bus and getting on there and looking through all of the fun treasures i literally had the time of my life so i hope you had fun watching that and i can't wait to show you everything that i got one of the most amazing pieces so the first thing i want to show you is one of my favorite finds of the day and that was this beautiful mid-century vase this was one of my favorite finds of the day. There is a certain vendor that is just outside the bathroom, so I always know where he is. But I have seen him the last few times and I always find amazing things with him. And this time was no different. I am obsessed with this mid-century pot. He said it's from the 70s and it's an amazing condition for its age. I just love the texture on that, the mix of colors, 
the really abstract kind of earthy gritty glaze that's on it. It is a great height for mixing and matching and using um, you know different levels of either pottery or if you put it next to an art piece. I just thought there was so much versatility in this item and I was gonna keep it for myself but it will be available in my drop and if you're watching this and haven't been following along so far I drop a new collection of vintage on the first Friday of every month and when you're watching this it will already be live so go ahead and check that out at funwithvintage.com. So in that amazing booth with the school bus that you could shop on I found so many things. I honestly I filled an entire cart just with the things from his booth and I think I was there for almost an hour out of the four hours that I was there. There was so much stuff to go through. So I had a huge pile even before I went on the bus and some of the things I found in the boxes kind of on the ground were these amazing hand carved folk art pieces and something about their expressions, I have two more that I'll show you right after this, uh, but something about their expression just really spoke to me. This guy, he just really looked like he's been through some things, you know, and what what person hasn't been through some things in their life and I just wanted to know what his story was or what the story was from the person who carved this because obviously they had some kind of inspiration. I just love it and these kind of pieces are really great for either a mantle to complement some of the art that you have, stuff like this you don't see all the time and this guy I just love how he's covering one ear especially as a mom. I feel like I do that on a daily basis because my kids are so loud just like oh, leave me be. So he really spoke to me too. I love the base of him. It is just aged in all the right ways. And I thought these were just a really, really fun, unique find. And now there's two more. The, these are my two guys. And then I found these two women as well. And I just, I would love to be able to travel more and experience different cultures. And I haven't really gotten to do that. The only other country I've been to is Mexico and you know, the touristy areas. but. Someday, when my kids are older, I would love to go experience different continents, different you know cultures, learn some new languages. That's definitely on the bucket list, but these really kind of brought me to that without actually having to go anywhere. I love the detail of the spring earrings on her. I'm not sure if this is an African piece or maybe someone you know from Haiti based on the research that I've done. I don't know exactly, but I just thought she was so beautiful and just again, the craftsmanship on these pieces. The wood is polished so smooth, it's in great condition. And same goes for her, she has a beautiful grain going all the way down, which just accentuates her really tall kind of slender figure. And I just, something about her just said like peace to me. It was very calming when I looked at her and I love finding things that make me feel something. You know, that's so important to me. And that's something that I try to, you know, curate when I make drops on my website or put things in my booth, just trying to create some kind of feeling for the person who is looking. So in that same booth, I found two really kind of primitive wood pieces that I was so excited that no one had snatched up yet gorgeous wood plate. It is something like this is so versatile, could be used in your kitchen, on your coffee table, on an entryway table for keys, your wallet, things like that. Again, just trying to bring in so much more texture into your space. I'm doing the same thing in my own home. This one will be available on my website as well, but, and I just loved the color of the wood and how unfinished it looks. I just thought that would be a really nice piece to add some character. I also found this beautiful copper, it looks like a scoop, like a coal scoop, but it's actually a candle holder. I don't know if you can see it right there, um, but that was just so unique. I love the patina on it, the detail on the handle on the back, and this is, some, this is something I've literally never seen anywhere before, uh, so I definitely could not pass that up either. And how beautiful is this cast iron brass finish ashtray? It has such amazing detail with these are almost like angel or like cherub faces on it and the detail in the middle I loved how it was just kind of worn and rubbed off looking something about the faces on this tray was just so elegant to me and I thought this would make a beautiful nightstand tray for your jewelry it could just sit out with some other decor you can use it for maybe incense in your home if you do burn those. It was just a really nice sturdy piece, worn beautifully, and 
The last thing I'll show you from this school bus lot haul is this beautiful coal scuttle. And I love how petite this is and how it has two sides that come up. Sometimes you'll find them where it just has kind of the scoop on this side and another handle on this side with some kind of ceramic design. But something like this was just a little more symmetrical, which I enjoy just visually. And also just the patina on it is amazing. I just love how worn and weathered it looks and these little lions on the handles here on both sides. This was made in Holland, it says on the bottom here. And it's very sturdy, the handle works great. And just something about this kind of aged copper is so visually appealing to me right now. I've been finding it everywhere with you know that candle holder that I was showing you before and so many other pieces that you haven't seen yet from other thrift trips. It's antique, it's beautiful. And he was so gracious to kind of bundle a deal for me for all these items, which made it a little bit easier to swallow, but I just love this piece and could not wait to add it to my website collection. So on the first row of booths that I went down, I found this woman who had this really adorable curated selection. Sometimes when you go to flea markets, I don't know about you, but it seems like they just like dump a bunch of stuff on tables and it's like up to you to dig. This woman had like her own boutique out of the back of a trailer, which I thought was really great. And if I was doing flea markets, that's definitely the route I would go as well. And I was looking through some of her stuff. I liked a few things and I picked up this oval frame and this is so old and I, it's gotta be an antique. It's got this crack in the middle here. You can see from the back, it has definitely been through a lot, but something about the trim detail against the black was just so beautiful to me and I have been slowly curating pieces for our bathroom that I will be redoing shortly after we finish the railing on the stairs but that will be our next big project and I just as I have been thrifting around I've been picking things up here and there and I believe this will be going on the wall in that so stay tuned for a future video there but I this was um this was ten dollars which I thought was a great price for how old it was and if you've watched my other videos, you know that I've been finding so many oval pieces. I'm really drawn to that shape for some reason lately. And I think with the other piece of art that I've already gotten for there, which is a rectangle piece, this will be a really nice contrast to that. And I was really excited to find this. I did find two other pieces that I think I will be using in there. I found this gorgeous little box. It has the most beautiful hardware on it. You can see here in the front, this little flap, and then also the rose detail. The art on the wall that I was just talking about is very similar to the flowers on here. So I thought this would look beautiful on the countertop. My daughter likes to do her hair in the morning before school. And I thought this would be really sweet for some hair ties or little clips and things just to kind of keep it organized on the sink, but also look beautiful. So I found this, hopefully it'll be big enough, um, but if not, I'll find somewhere else to put it. When my husband and I got married, I found this strip of wrapping paper, which sounds silly, but that's really how I design anything, is I find one item and I kind of build everything off of that. That's how I do these collections as well. Um, but I found this piece of wrapping paper that was black and white stripe and it had these beautiful pink flowers on it. And I designed our entire wedding from that. And this just feels like a more mature version of what that was. So this piece is really special to me for that reason. And I can't wait to see it in the bathroom all done up. Add a little bit more texture, which I feel like is the whole theme of this video. Everything is texture, but I cannot stop talking about it, thinking about it, finding things that go together and just complement each other so well. And I thought this vintage mirror would be so gorgeous on the wall as part of like a little mini gallery wall with the art, that oval frame that I just showed you and just look at how kind of chunky that is on the back. I've seen a ton of vintage mirrors before and I just never had one this shape, this kind of, it's almost like a plaster feeling. Um, and then the sides of it are also aged here. The handle is gorgeous. I thought with a really pretty, just kind of like a gold nail, hang that on there and just give the wall some more character. So we'll see how that goes once I put everything together. But I just thought it was so beautiful, unique and different and is going to look great up on the wall in our powder room. In that same woman's booth, I found this amazing primitive jug. The handle is so petite and adorable. I just love how this side looks completely different from this side. 
the lid on it is a little bit chippy. It's got perfect kind of rustic finish on it. And the inside is actually in very good shape. Same thing with the bottom, no major chips, cracks, things like that. I mean, I don't even know how old this canister is, but it's definitely very old. And I, someday I envision just an, a big open shelving space in my kitchen. Right now we don't have the space for that and we can use all the cabinets that we, <laughs> that we can fit, which we currently have. Um, but whenever we do get a house, that is a dream of mine to have open shelving so I can display unique items like this that have some of the beautiful pottery that I have displayed and also my vintage Corningware collection. If you don't know, I collect the Spice of Life pattern and I am determined to get every single piece that they've ever made. I'm well on my way. I have a very large collection so far, but I would love to be able to put that out on display and be able to showcase it because I put so much time and attention into finding pieces like that and like this. And I just thought this would be so beautiful. I played with some cookbooks that are your favorites or you know, a vintage rolling pin, things like that. Your favorite coffee mugs, dishes, and giving it a little bit more of a rustic feel. I'm not a huge farmhouse person, but I do love old and lived in and kind of that just warm, cozy feeling that you get when you have different materials in your house. So this on top of a chunky wood shelf would be perfect for that. The last piece I'll show you today, there were so many items. Some things will be in next month's drop, so I'll show those at a later date. Um, but the last thing I'll show you today is this gorgeous brass vase. I just love how kind of smoky it looks just because of the patina on it. it it has the same beautiful flowers that were on the trinket box that I was showing you. And all of, I've been finding so many floral art pieces lately and this was just kind of a nod to those. I liked the shape of this, how it was kind of tapered at the bottom. A lot of the brass and kind of Indian style vases that I find are kind of more long and lean and maybe have just kind of a bulb at the bottom. That's mostly what I found and I have not found one in this shape yet. And just the difference of the little black kind of paint that has been rubbed off over time along with the etched brass I just thought was so beautiful and would look really pretty with some fresh flowers coming out of it or even by itself mixed with some other pottery vases or things that have different materials and I just really, I couldn't pass it up. I can't stop looking at it. This is definitely one of my favorites from today as well. If you haven't guessed by now, I have a thing for vases and vessels and bowls and all the things. Um, I wish I had more space to display them for myself, but lucky for you, I don't. And this will be available on my website as well. This trip was a dream for me, being able to just be on my own without the kiddos with me and just really focus and dive in to all of the vintage goodness that was there. And I really appreciate you watching this far. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. The majority of the people that view my videos are actually not subscribers. So if that is you, go ahead and click that button and I'll see you next week with another video.